Hey, it is time to do another savings challenge video. So if you want to see how I'm going to make the $13 stretch, hey y'all, it's D. I hope that y'all are doing well. And I'm just going to hop into this video. I will be doing um, three of my seven challenges. So yeah, let's see. Today I will be allocating my $13 as stated. $3 will be going towards my star savings challenge. $4 will be going towards my teddy bear saving challenge and $6 will be going towards my monthly saving challenge. So yeah, y'all. I will be starting off with my monthly saving challenge slash 96 envelope saving challenge. So this is a monthly saving challenge that I created and they all have uh, fruit or vegetable things within the middle of the mini seven challenges that come with a total of eight envelopes per month so yeah y'all i have been working on this i am trying to successfully complete a yearly savings challenge i will always start in the past and would not finish but i am determined to finish this and move on to bigger things we cast stuff in a total of six dollars towards the july 7th challenge you will be seeing this video in like the second week of june so i am ahead of the game i was trying to get ahead because in the spring and summer months my main income source usually goes down quite a bit so yeah y'all each icon for july is worth a is worth a dollar so i will be coloring in a total of six and this will almost finish july okay so i almost finished with this i purposely made july um the watermelon icon because i love watermelon and i usually start eating it, eating it in july but i did take a risk and get a watermelon in may my mom always told me that the best watermelons are usually um uh, after the fourth of july but uh, i did go in may and it was it was okay it wasn't as sweet so i'm testing out her little theory that she had and yeah y'all so this is my 96 envelope saving challenge done so let's go to that challenge um, I will link up above my last cash stuffing video. I did go over quite a bit of information in that video. And yeah, y'all, uh, this is my new bookmark that I made. And my monthly seven challenge is right here. So I did have to cash condense this off camera because as I was preparing for my videos, I ran out of $2 bills and I do use prop money because I prefer to keep my money in the bank, but I did not count it. I just condensed the latter portion of the money and yeah, so I'm still not counting. Alrighty, let's do the $6. So five and six. Okay, five and six. So I had to remove pretty much most of the twos. And this is what the money is looking like now. Got an extra 10 in there. So yeah, I'm excited to see how much I actually save. Let's get into my mini seven challenge book available on Amazon hard copy and physical copy is available on my buy me a coffee shop. So I did do an update to this book. So if you wanna see the updates that I did make, um, go check out my last video for cash stuffing for the first week of June. So today, oh, first of all, hold on y'all. I did need to update my seven challenge log and this is the log that I created to keep up with how many seven challenges I complete in 2024. In my last video, I did complete my cubit savings and that was 526. I do record my cash stuffing videos early and that went to car repairs. So that was a total of two challenges that I finished in May. So yeah, so today I will be doing my teddy bear savings challenge and each one of the icons are worth a total of $2. I will be adding 
four dollars to this challenge this is my most popular challenge on etsy and i thank y'all thank y'all for supporting my etsy my buy me a coffee supporting me in general it is great great appreciate it seems like i'm getting a little bit more traction on my youtube video so i want to say hey y'all how y'all do <laughs> So, yeah, y'all, that is the Tater Bear Challenge. I am trying to save a total of $32 once I finish this. Let's go to that envelope. And it's right here. I do not count until I actually finish the challenge. Today, I will be adding the $4, and once added the $4, I will have a total of $16 saved. So, I'm halfway finished with this one. So, two and four. And that's the money. The next saving challenge I'm doing is in my Easy Saving Challenge books catered toward low income. And I wanted to say, y'all, thank y'all for your orders in the month of May. This was my most popular book sold. So thank y'all. And I will be doing my Star Saving Challenge in this book right here. If you are interested in how these books look, I do have a playlist on my channel of all of my Amazon books, I will list the, I will link the playlist up above. As I stated for this challenge, I will be allocating a total of three dollars per row until I am done with this challenge. I do prefer to do mini challenges or low income challenges because I that's what I work with currently, and it helps give me quick wins that help keep me motivated on this journey of becoming 100% debt free more financially stable and preparing for early retirement that is what i'm all about and those three areas is what keeps me going and keeps me motivated because i have goals and i want to achieve those goals so that are the three stars color in this is my star saving challenge and i'm trying to save a total of thirty dollars each icon is worth a dollar and you can specify how much you want to save for all of these challenges within this book. Okay. I think the stars, there here go stars right here. So once I add this $3, I will have a total of $20, $25 saved for this challenge. So I'm $5 away from finishing this one. So two and three. Alrighty, y'all, that is that. And y'all, in my last video, I told you I have been working on quite a bit and I would like to introduce some items that I just added to my buy me a coffee that are print to ship. And whew, y'all, so let's go. Did already do a teaser uh, on my shorts and or my community post. So if y'all want to stay up to date with what I'm doing in real time, um, I release a lot of my information on my shorts and my reels, and I also do community posts. So I did create an array, roll and save saving challenges, and I wanted them to be very colorful due to the season that we are in. And yeah, this is the first one, and I will be starting this soon. This is Stop and Smell the Flowers. And each icon, you can do a roller save or you can just pick how much that you want each one of the clouds worth. Then I made this one um, called In Living Color. This came after a TV show in the 90s. Um, I got inspiration for that. So In Living Color. <laughs> I ain't going to see no more because I ain't trying to get copyrighted. But anyway, so this is the same and you just do roll and save or pick how much you want each one of these worth. You see those? Let me move that down. 
Okay, out of frame. And this one is called Shine Like a Diamond. And you can pick how much you want to save per diamond or do a roller save or what have you. And y'all know purple, that's my jam. And I thought this was real pretty. And the last one is Bloom Your Own Beauty. So this one, this motivation behind this one is I know that some women in particular um, have a hard time realizing their beauty within and outside. So this is like a little motivational A5 7 challenge. I don't know if I said that. These are all A5. And um, I just fell in love with this background y'all know purple is my jam and i chose to do hearts so you can um you know love yourself because that is very important and yeah y'all i have these available individually or you can buy the bundle so i'm trying to expand little by little uh as i get bursts of inspiration i like to just go ahead and do it <sighs> yeah y'all whoo i have more to come <laughs> Your girl has been busy. So if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a hashtag color. And I hope that y'all have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And share it with anybody who you think might want to be motivated or get some information on low income budgeting and paying off debt all on a low income so don't forget to make the money, but don't let the money make you. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.